Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess the first thing I should say, I'm Naomi Cedar. Uh, you'll notice I had absolutely no problem setting up my slides. <laughs> I've been on an anti-slide kick lately for talks. Um, but um, in any case, I, I am the chair of the Python Software Foundation, which isn't exactly a company, but dang, we are Python powered. So uh, that, that's one point to brag about. And um, if you're a fan of uh, podcast under a net, that, that particular podcast, I just recorded an interview with uh, Tobias yesterday where we talked a little bit about PSF and uh, about um, the, my book, Quick Python Book, third edition. It's an obligation, I have to plug the talk. Uh, or plug the book. But um, so, so that's, that's that, and that's nothing to do with tonight. Uh, I am also. Uh, a leader of a development team for Dick Blake Art Materials. And I know when you saw that on the agenda, you were thinking, oh, Art Materials, of course, they do lots of computing there. And if you thought that, you would be right, actually. Um, our motto is artists serving artists, but we have a fair number of developers serving artists as well. Um, it is probably one of the vital areas of the company. Uh, our systems are really important as we compete with big online sellers that begin with A that shall remain nameless. Um, so, um, so yeah, we, we do a number of things. It's, Blick is an old company. It's actually based up in Highland Park, but my team works down in the West Loop at, at WeWork. Um, but we have 70 stores nationwide, one on State Street, one up in Evanston, but across the country, New York, California. Um, we also um, do um, a certain amount of business online, about half of our business is by way of our website. Uh, we sell 90,000 different things, so that's a lot of art materials. And being an old company, we have everything from a couple of AS400s, it's still running. I haven't quite yet talked them into putting iSeries Python on them, but I have kind of an agreement in principle it would be interesting. <laughs> um, and we also then do some things in .NET for our customer-facing website. And then there is my team, which is the Python part of it, obviously. Um, and um, my team is actually called the Open Source Team. It was founded a few years ago using only open source technologies, which isn't helpful at all, honestly. I mean, yes, of course we use open source software. What does that mean? Actually, we do pricing and competitive intelligence. So that is very important. It may not be exciting to everybody, but I find businessmen really get excited about the idea of charging people for things. <laughs> uh, and this is what we're into. Uh, basically, we are building um, an application that will algorithmically, automatically price those 90,000 SKUs uh, based on one, two, three, four, five different uh, competitor prices depending upon what it is. So um, pretty much every item could have a different set of competitors that we're pricing for. This is a, a fun problem. We're, we're about, oh, what, I think we're about uh, just coming up on two thirds of the way there. That is, we actually are automatically pricing things and the business has not melted down. We're in good shape. Uh, margins are actually improving. We're, we're, really, uh, we're really doing well. So to do this, we host, uh, my team hosts all of our things on AWS, but we need to pull data from the AS400, from uh, SQL Server databases. We need to have VPNs so that we can connect to sort of hardware hosted on premise as well. Uh, we do those things, we use Django, we use Flask, we use uh, Python to uh, do a lot of our data pipeline processing. Um, as we get further down the road, we will start doing things with machine learning so that we can tweak our, our coefficients against competitors, things like that. So all of that then is surprisingly um, a lot of Python uh, going on for an art materials company. So, um, like everybody else, uh, yes, we're hiring too. I would love to find one more person who is interested in doing Flask and Django and APIs and data and all of the things I've talked about. And I can offer you something that nobody else here tonight can, and that is an employee discount at Big Boy Cards. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. Where do you get the competitor data? 
Um, we find it. It follows us home. Can we keep it? Yes. <laughs> Another question. One more question. Anybody else? It seems to. Uh, can you imagine? Is are there other models that seek to price things as on the algorithmic scale or on the yeah to price things algorithmically across the number of products that you're looking to do this against? Um, there are places that will say, yes, yes, we do that, but all of them we've talked to really are saying, yes, yes, we would love you to pay us a lot of money so that we can build it. So instead of doing that, we're going to build it ourselves, I think. I mean, you know, I, I don't know of any that uh, do that because we don't do just a cost plus margin sort of pricing model. Uh, instead, we're very interested at being you know, we're an established company, maybe that's worth a little bit, but not too much. So, so we have all of these things that we're trying to take into account. So using that philosophy, it's really hard to have anything that, that matches. Yeah. All right, one round of applause.